Um, at an early age, I think um, when I was going through junior high school, I realized that the class system in Ghana was against me. And if I was to build something for myself, I would have to leave Ghana. Why am I saying this? My mom didn't know people in high places and my dad didn't have money. And when I went through my basic education in a government school, my maths was all right. And the school that I chose, the senior high school that I chose, it wasn't one of the top schools, but I can remember the day we went there looking for admission. There was a notice saying that only grade eight will be admitted. I had grade 11, but because we didn't know anyone and we couldn't afford to pay them off, I saw people with grade 28 leaving the headmaster's office with an admission letter. I still made it to senior high school, but in senior high school, I saw people who were deemed rich kids being treated better than we, the poor kids, by the seniors. And then in university too, I couldn't tell the future, but I knew with my underprivileged background, even to find a job in a reputable company would have been difficult, if not impossible. So in uni, I decided if I'm going to do something with my life, then I'll have to fly out of the country to a place where the class system will not catch up with me and I can play on a level field. To some extent, but was it worth it?